Owen Schroyer here for Infowars.com. It is 6.05 local here in Austin, Texas. And yesterday, the Alex Jones Show, the Alex Jones Channel on YouTube, was banned from going live. The War Room Channel was also banned from going live. Now, we have a bunch of satellite channels out there that were able to go live until today. Now, any live YouTube broadcast on YouTube is totally banned. But what you're looking at here is actually Facebook's ban. So now Facebook has banned Info InfoWars from doing live broadcasts on Facebook. So that's what you're looking at here. Now, this is, this is actually critical information because Mike Adams wrote a report, the grand plan for internet censorship that made it to Trump's desk, that made it to Trump's cabinet. Now they've read it, they saw all the information. Paul Joseph Watson made it go viral with a story on Infowars.com. So now what you're seeing is on the heels of this, on the heels of our information, our pertinent information getting to Trump's desk, they're now censoring us because we're too effective. So we can't broadcast live on YouTube and now we can't broadcast live on Facebook. Twitter will probably come next, but we haven't gotten hit with that yet. We're, we're expecting that to happen next. So amazingly though, you have Facebook having one of the worst days ever. It may go down as the worst day ever in the history of stock market. Facebook losing over a hundred billion today in the stock market, totally tanking their stock. Zuckerberg losing up to 20 million himself, 20% uh, collapse in their stock. It's only gonna go down. So you've got that going on. You've got President Trump announcing that he's gonna look into the shadow banning and look into the discrimination that's happening on Twitter. So that's about to go down thanks to our report from Mike Adams that made it to his desk. And now you have Facebook, which has already been caught red-handed, censoring conservatives, censoring Diamond and Silk. It's all been reported. It's all been documented. Now they've stopped us from going live. Why are they doing this? Why are they in such a panic? Why is our information forbidden for the American public to see? Oh, because it's effective. Because it's beating them. So this is only going to prove to be providential, ladies and gentlemen. But this is an emergency. Now... We can make this about InfoWars, but this is not just about InfoWars. This is about free speech. This is about anybody who wants to have a YouTube channel. This is about anybody who wants to have a Facebook account and wants to put their opinions out there without getting shut down. Now you don't have that. Now you don't have that. They will shut you down if you don't go along with their political speech. So just think about the implications of what that means for the future of free speech in America. And think about what happens next as President Trump and members of his administration like Brad Parskill are well aware of what's going on on Twitter. So is President Trump serious about looking into the discriminatory practices by social media? If so, it's game over for them. Is that why Facebook stock tanked today? Is that why YouTube and Facebook are both banning us from going live? Is Twitter next being caught with their shadow banning? So this is all happening. So ladies and gentlemen, you can, people tell me all day, where do I find InfoWars Live? Can't find them on YouTube. Can't find them on Facebook. Well, we're still on Twitter, but who knows how long that's going to last. So, so here's what you can do. Go download our new app. They're banning us from any other platform. The only platform we can exist on is our own proprietary platforms, the official InfoWars app. So this is not just a plug for the app. This is letting you know you can't find us live anywhere else anymore except our own app. So if you want to see the Alex Jones Show live, if you want to see the War Room live with myself and Roger Stone, if you want to see David Knight in the morning with the Real News live, you have to go to the InfoWars official app because we're banned on all social media and it's only going to get worse. So they're in a total panic, but Trump is aware of this. More people are getting aware of this and other conservatives are, are starting to see the ban hitting them as well. So this is only going to backfire. The stocks are going to continue to tank. Facebook and Twitter are using, uh, or excuse me, losing thousands of members. The, the Democrats are being caught with their bots. It's not Russian bots. There may be Russian bots out there, but it's Democrat bots that have been caught on Twitter tweeting out the exact same tweets thousands of times with the exact same hashtags. So they've been caught using their bots. They've been caught censoring. Now they're trying to shut us down because we're the only people that report on it. So again, we've already been banned on YouTube. Can't go live. Now it's Facebook. Twitter's next. So this is what they're doing. They're trying to block you from getting this important information. They're trying to block you from getting the truth. They're trying to block you from getting the tip of the spear when it comes to true news and, and breaking information. So now all we have 
I just have a side note. Went to the app store to download the app, make sure I had the newest version, and CNN paid ad right on top. Oh, the versionary advertising. Oh yeah, let's put yeah because oh just like CNN pays to get in airports, just like CNN pays to get in gymnasiums and hotels and schools. Now they're paying to get their app above the Infowars app. Oh, that's so nice, CNN, but they're still gonna lose, so it doesn't matter. So folks, again, this is a first amendment emergency and, and we've been telling you this is coming so here we are proven right again this is a first amendment emergency for everyone not just infowars but for us it's an emergency because we still need to get our message out there and they're not going to let us on the internet much longer folks so trump is looking into this but in the meantime if you look for our live broadcast you can only find it on the official infowars app so go download the official infowars app they're banning us on youtube banning us on facebook this is not just rhetoric it's happening in real time so stand up for the first amendment stand up for free speech don't let the tech left run by the anti-american left stymie free speech in this country it's time to stand together for free speech for infowars.com this is owen schroyer